welcome back to my channel today you're tuning in with a sassy make sure you guys click on that red button and subscribe become part of the sparkling squad because why not today we're doing a first impression on wet a while photo focus stick foundation this foundation is supposedly tested under seven different photo lighting conditions on various skin tones so this foundation is kind of aiming for people that are always taking selfie honey so if you're one of those please stay tuned to see what this foundation is all about what a while does describe this foundation stick as a no flashback technology no white cast or none of that I'm gonna be taking pictures with flash and see what it does to my face this foundation is a pro coverage which is kind of like full medium to full coverage it's also infused with argan oil and sunflower seed oil so it sort of moisturizes the skin while having a flawless finished base which is really nice because I do have dry skin so I'm looking forward to applying this and see how creamy it goes on my face It's a buildable texture as well and it provides a medium to full coverage just like I mentioned and the finish of this foundation is a soft set and finish for those of you guys that are wondering what kind of finish it is and the best part you guys is that this foundation is only $5.99 so I feel like the price is definitely affordable enough for me to buy and of course you guys if you want any little extra detail I'll leave it down below in the description make sure you guys check that out so I'll let you know where to find it and things like that but they are available in 21 different shades you guys but I must let you know that out of the 21 shades there is only only 15 shades that are vegan first of all I want to show you the four shades that they did send me I have the shades here cream beige sun beige and you can see how much it brings in the packaging this is how much product is in the packaging it says here in the packaging that is 12 gram so it's a decent amount I guess for the price and then we have golden tan then we have the shade golden honey anyways as you guys saw I did swatch it for you guys the four shades that I did receive I feel like they do get a little darker to be honest once you swatch them like they do uh, oxidize just a little tiny bit first you guys what I'm gonna do is go in with this wet and wild rose primer serum which I really really like and since I don't have anything on my skin I just don't want to go in with a foundation because I feel like that just I need something to smooth out the skin on it okay and you guys just to add a little bit of more hydration to my skin so once again I don't have anything I just put a primer that serum primer but I do want to add a little bit of more hydration just in case because I do have dry skin on and it's winter still I'm gonna add a little bit of this wet and wild cucumber three three in one primer water so just water just water oh that feels so refreshing wow I want to take this on vacation with me this feels so nice and this is supposed to prep set and refresh honey so there you go, it's three in one. Gonna let that air dry just a little bit and then we're gonna go in a weather foundation. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna use the shade Golden Honey. This is the best match when I match my skin. I'm just gonna go direct. I'm gonna use this side with a brush just to see the difference versus a beauty blender. I'm gonna be using a Real Technique brush that I really, really like for this. So let's see. Oh, definitely great, great coverage. Oh, you guys, I really like how this is going on. Oh my God really nice look at that coverage look at this side with no foundation just primer and then look at this side and it's actually a pretty nice match i feel like maybe not maybe yes for me you guys for my skin type i feel like it's more on the matte side but we will definitely be testing this out today to see if it works or not okay so here it is with a brush worked out really nice i love the way it applied it blended in right away you guys really really nice now on this side i'm gonna go in with a sponge okay you guys so now on this side i'm gonna be using a sponge i'm gonna be using a real technique sponge which is my favorite ever in the history of sponges the range of undertone is like not my favorite and of course i wish it was definitely more color for my darker skin girls or guys so you definitely get more of a skin like finish versus uh, with a brush a brush tends to take less product than a sponge a sponge definitely sucks out product but it does give more of a airbrush finish in my personal opinion from this side which I use the brush and versus the side that I use the sponge I do like the sponge side because the thing is that I do have dry skin for those guys that don't know I have dry skin my skin definitely changes whether it's winter or summer so right now it's definitely dry and I love the finish with a sponge because with a sponge you guys know product tend to get soaked up in here and a brush tend to just leave the product right on your face 
not soaking up anything which gives you more of a full coverage but I have to say 100% you guys that I do love the sponge finish it gives you more like a skin look and that's what I'm always aiming for especially once you're getting older and you have dry skin you definitely want to use less in my opinion it just gives you a better look less cakey less texture and all that good stuff especially if you suffer from those things so that's just my personal opinion I really really love the way the finish is with a sponge again it's literally like skin like not saying that the side with the brush it's bad but I do like how everything just went on here more skin like once again I'm gonna say that a lot because that's just like my fever I feel like I noticed a little bit more texture texture with a brush side for some reason and then this just looks so much like smoother in my skin for some reason with a sponge so that's just my personal opinion you guys right off the bat but the coverage itself it looks good it still looks really good I do not feel like it's a full coverage but this foundation is buildable which means you can go back and apply another layer but for my case I'm gonna stop here this is how I like it but now you guys let's go ahead and take a flashback test I'm gonna use my phone to take a picture with flash and see how that goes so again I'm just using my phone I'm gonna put some flash and we're gonna show you guys if this is flash proof or what not okay you guys so I took several pictures it I don't see any like not even one bit of a flashback but I am going to go ahead and finish out my face and I'll be right back with you guys and we're gonna begin to check in and see how this works out throughout the day as well so I'll be right back and you guys I just want you to take a close in shot to, to see the foundation after everything else I applied I did apply powder on my eyes and I went ahead and contour and apply a little bit more of this 3-in-1 primer afterwards because it's supposed to be a refresher so I just wanted to refresh the face a little bit more because it's something that I would normally do and it's a product that is also from wet and wild and it's super super affordable that you guys can definitely get your hands on and I want to see how much of a difference it will make on the foundation as well but without further ado babes I'm gonna see you in a few hours I'm gonna be checking in once again to see how the foundation works throughout the day i'll see you guys in a little bit and this is under natural lighting you guys this is how the foundation looks i just wanted to show you because it's been already like three hours and i'm almost done cooking as well but my foundation still look good i also ate you can definitely see like my texture because a lot of you guys think i don't have like texture like hello girl i'm a normal human being my face be looking beat but i do have a lot of texture i'm sure you guys can see that um but yeah this is how it looks i really really like in the foundation you guys like i don't feel dry it looks bomb so i'll see you guys in a little bit more okay you guys so this is like um it was a I don't know how many hours but it's four almost five o'clock so it's been a lot of hours it's another update i do feel like i did get oily right here on my nose and especially on my t-zone area like my forehead that's where i have like majority of my problems but other than that you guys it still look good i feel like it did not it did not go into my fine lines you know what i mean like no it's not there i am more dirty because i've been cleaning the floor like i had to mop on my, my the house and stuff like that i'm waiting for my cousin she's coming to visit today so that's pretty awesome but the foundation still look good i did get oily as you can see you will have to be blotting this bitch all over because you will get oily honey and i do feel like a little bit of cake up on the areas that i am um oily so i don't like that but it still looks good you know what i mean like we still looking high and i feel like it does emphasize the a texture like let me show you when i go to by lighting bad lighting can I why can I zoom in this shit? Can I zoom in? in? Damn. Oh, look at that right there. There you go. Look at that. There it's like no foundation. This looks bad on bad lighting. Ooh. <laughs> like again, I've been freaking cleaning, so it's gonna look bad. Like and I do have texture, you guys, so keep that in mind. But it's not as bad. My uh, mascara, this always happens, and I do not know how to avoid it because I did powder under here. Still look like shit, but it's not bad, you guys. The foundation is still holding up pretty nice. Except that it's separated right here. It looks ugly there. And I don't know what is here. But yeah, I'll keep you guys updated and I'll, I'll check back in in a few. <laughs> 